Hello, welcome in a new vlog. I wanted to give you a bit of updates of all the things I'm doing right now. I'm finishing the very last Puss in Boots of my series. This is the smallest one. You saw the very big one a few weeks ago. Um, the last one was the Puss in Boots driving a carriage. I didn't show it completely finished on a vlog or on a video, so you can see it here. He went already to his new home, he was added on Etsy last week. Um, this one is going to, add, to be added in a, just a handful of days. So you're going to see him, it's a little, just a little smaller than the other ones, but it's quite big after all. Um, yes, and I'm working on that, on the last Nutcracker. I know some person have asked me, when are you going to add the last Nutcracker, which belonged to the Nutcracker series this winter. I wanted to finish all that before starting something new. I also wanted to say on April 1st the dollhouse workshop is reopening its doors so if you are interested in doing a dollhouse with me you want a bit of help um, please feel free to join there will be a launching offer available from Thursday 1st to April 15th so you have two weeks to join and to take advantage of the offer and then the workshop will close its door at the end of April uh, till next year so if it's something you want to do even if you don't start now you can't start now you want to start in june or during the summer season uh, you have access forever access to the content and you can even join the skype session even if you can't start now the live session we are doing where you can ask your questions see what the others are doing um, and we have a nice conversation it's really nice and friendly uh, and just uh, just precious in this complicated time we are all going through so if you want to do your dollhouse this year with me please be sure to visit the link under the video at learnthemagicofpaper.com and you will find all the information you need So I know I mentioned I would have the secret project coming before the end of March. I'm not finished. I've worked on it every day, really every day, I promise you. But this is the big thing. The first part will be at least 20 minutes long, probably a bit more. And there will be three parts, so two more after that. So it's just a lot of work. I have so much fun working on it. I have a behind the scenes video coming also after part one where i will show you everything i put right now all the things i'm doing because they are invading the entire studio i put them all on this wall so you don't see them you don't have any spoiler spoilers or all that uh, but i will show you all the the behind the scenes anyway after you saw part one but i have so much fun and, and it's going to have an impact on how i organize the studio in the upcoming weeks and months because now I'm only working on part one, I have two more parts and I know I think I'm going to continue to work on this sort of 
projects um, on a regular basis because they make me really happy I just enjoy it so much so I'm going to try to find a second table but a smaller one smaller one not big as this one that will have somewhere on the other wall so I could leave things I have my trunk and I put things on the trunk but now I have start to have boxes of decals which I only use I will only use once or twice and then I will change them and do something else with them and um, maybe one or two more shelves I need a bit more my space is quite enough for me I don't work in such a big scale that I need big ginormous table or all that but I need to have more places to put things when I'm working on them so so yes that's it but I promise you you will see all that and I have so much fun working on it I can't even explain you the joy of suddenly working on something where you don't have any expectations where you don't have to worry about people will like it or don't like it will buy it or won't buy it it's not the thing and it just free your your imagination and your if yes it just liberates everything um, for me, it really puts me back in the situation when I was a teenager and playing, playing, doing things and you don't sell anyway, you don't worry about that, it's not a problem, you just create and do things. And it puts me back in this mindset I had at the time and it makes me really happy to go back to that. I do all the things I love, by the way, I love doing this Puss and Boots, I love working on fairy tales, I love fairy tales, obviously, I work a lot all the things I'm doing, the workshops too, but it's just different. And I hear it's a story too. I love story. I adore story more than anything else. So it's visiting a, a, a period time I adore, history, characters who really live, doing a lot of, just joining all my passions, history, the past, creating paper, everything, everything in one place, um, telling a story to people which uh, you, will, you will see, you will hear. So I promise you, you will see that very soon in a handful of days. I'm working on all the sections of the first part at the same time. So I was thinking maybe I could remove one or two sections and I put them in part two this way, it's just I'm ready sooner, but I can't really do that because the scenes which are more advanced are the one at the end of part one and without the first ones, you can't really understand what's going on. So. I'm trapped, I need to really finish things and I know you are patient anyway, you, for you it's just going to be entertainment to see that, so you won't be disappointed, I promise you. I was working on the secret project as I told you I just opened all sort of possibilities and things I reuse I needed to for something I needed to reuse my pastel my dry pastel which is the first technique I had when I was a teenager I was mainly doing a lot of portrait and pastels on paper and I like it because it's dry and it's a technique which was very popular in the 18th century for portraits for the powdered skin it worked really well and when I started to work with paper, I always wanted to try to see how I could incorporate that, whether oily pastels or the dry one. I prefer the dry one, but I couldn't do it. I couldn't find a way which would work. Um, but I always kept my boxes and things. And I, yeah, there is a sentimental value here, of course, because I had them since I'm a teenager. Um, I kept them. When I moved here in this home, I was about to throw all this away, thinking, well, I don't need that. I was in the Marie Kondo, you know, passion, like you get rid of everything and then you regret everything you have put to the trash and you just think, how on earth I've done that? And when I moved here, I regretted a lot of things I, I got rid of because I think this technique doesn't work for everyone. And um, when you are creative, you need to have access to a lot of things because you never know what you will use, what you will need. And I'm so happy I didn't because I suddenly tried to do things and it worked so well. And who knows how I'm going to use that now. I know I'm going to go back to pastel for decors for sure. And it's going to be incorporated in some ways. So I'm happy I didn't put them to the trash. Um, because of this Japanese lady, because it's, it would have been sad and I would have really regretted it. Also because these boxes, this thing are sentimental, but also because I had access and I tried something and it worked. And I, I, I went to buy a few new ones which, which I needed, but I might go back and buy maybe more good ones. This one, I, I don't think they are the very, very best, but they, they still worked for the, 
the little thing I needed to do for one of the scenes. And you will see that soon, of course. So you will see my Puss in Boots soon. I'm going to continue to work on it. I'm going to continue to work on my Nutcracker and all my things going on. Then I will jump to another another fairy tale. You will see that uh, I will start to work on it in April and I will start to work also on the new workshop, the spring workshop, which will be totally different than the dollhouse, by the way. So it's just completely different things, which will arrive by the end of May. And I will keep you updated also if you are sub subscribed to my workshop newsletter. So I hope you are enjoying a beautiful spring weather. I didn't do more my spring decor. I plan to do it when I, so which will be spring summer summer decor, in, especially in the living room and maybe in the entryway also. But I didn't really have the time, and I was not in the mood. I was so focused on the project. I had no time to spend trying to find flowers and things but i'm going to take care of that soon thank you for watching you can subscribe if you don't want to miss all the next videos and you can give a thumbs up if you liked what you saw i wish you a beautiful day and see you soon